Curas. Scientists believe they might have found a useful tool in efforts to detect and stop the spread of invasive mussels into Montana and into the Columbia Basin. But agencies say it's not going to immediately replace boat inspections and plankton sampling as the first steps to find these mussels. A year ago, Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks reported the first evidence of mussel larvae in the Tiber and Canyon Ferry Reservoirs east of the Divide, putting the entire northwest on alert. FWP says more than 85,000 vessels were inspected last year, with 17 contaminated boats bringing mussels in from out of state. This year, inspections will continue, and scientists are working together across the region to improve detection. That includes more plankton sampling and trying more environmental DNA sampling. It's a process that's already proven useful on Flathead Lake. When you're looking for the new arrival of an invasive species, it's always the needle in the haystack and you could find or miss them with any technique that you're using. FWP calls eDNA testing an emerging technology that's still being researched, but they will continue to rely on plankton sampling in 2018.